Hi, it's Renee from Create Your Own Story by Renee Christine. I want to do a flip through of my uh, Asian journal that I made. Um, I'm working on making, but I want to get a flip through the journal in so I could show the inside of it. I'm still working on the little book jewelry that I'll be doing, but um, I just wanted to show you this. What I've done is 95% complete. And uh, like I said, I'll be doing this, still still working on the dangly, the dangly. But I wanted to do a flip through. This is a, a smaller book, it's more petite, um, to take with you. I did this, I made this in, uh, because of the Chinese New Year coming up. And uh, a friend of mine had gifted me this beautiful fabric that I, I just, I love this fabric. And I love cherry blossoms. So um, this was really cool. The papers in the book, the majority of the papers are from Artie Mays. And the chops that you see in the book are um, my own Chinese chops because I do Chinese brush painting, um, which I love doing, but I kind of focusing on junk journals, heirloom journals. But let me do a quick flip through for you. Uh, the inside I also made equally as shiny. Don't have a lot of good light today because there's uh, it's rainy. I've tried to set this up so everybody could see this, um, but it's still a little bit dark for me. Uh, this I printed the Artie Mae's paper on onion skin paper, so there's some texture and crispiness on some of the images. Um, I put in some pages from a screen printing book. Uh, again, this is just some papers from Artie Mays. Little tags, so I'm gonna put a little piece of uh, sorry silk on that. Some avocado dyed papers. There's a lot of eco dyed papers in here. Um, this one's avocado dyed. This is from a screen print book. This is a vintage screen print out of the book and then the original paper that came with it. Um, Artie Mays paper, a chop that I have. This is supposed to be an antique chop. I haven't researched it, so I don't know 100%. Here's some avocado um, dyed paper with Japanese maples on it. And, and you can see on the back side of this, that's uh, also Japanese maples. I've put several pieces of parchment paper and rice paper in here. So if you are somebody who likes to do Chinese brush painting or Japanese brush painting or sumi-e, then um, there's paper in here so you can do that. Uh, I've got parchment, I've got rice paper, um, several pieces here and uh, throughout the journal. What I, I would do if you are going to do Chinese brush painting is um, put something underneath it, obviously, because as those of you know, your um, rice papers will bleed through and you don't want to get that on your other rice paper page. There's some little tags uh, from the Artie Mays, some little Asian symbols throughout the book, some bamboo, some more chops. Uh, this, again, is printed on onion skin. I will be putting little sari silk on there, some little ribbon, some sewn in, Japanese maple, just a quick, I did a little pocket um, and a note card to write on there. I've got, scooch over baby, uh, some more cards and tags throughout the book, a little bit of uh, other vintage images. Uh, this is from the um, screen printing book and some more parchment paper, two more, actually several pages here of the rice paper. Well, there's two pieces here. You don't need to see it, but lots of room for brush painting. One of the little uh, tuck envelopes has some uh, note cards in it, a chop imprint, some tea cards. All these are from Artie Mays. And then uh, some images that are Asian images from decorating books. Some more um, eco-dyed papers. 
and some tea cards in this little pocket here. Oops. Tigger stuff. Uh, and then I've got some more tags, uh, some decoupage, just some little spots in here for journaling, some more Artie Mae's images, some uh, origami paper, some more of the rice paper and the parchment paper, uh, some of the chop images, a little bit of uh, a little doily here. But yeah, I made this. Uh, this is another vintage page from the uh, Japanese screen print book I have. But I kind of left it open instead of filling everything up so you can do your own writing, your own decorating. As always, my books come with uh, additional papers and samples of what I use throughout the book so you can make it your own. Uh, here's a little tip in to got two sides on it, kind of cool, uh, for, you know, for your secret writing spot that you don't want everybody to see necessarily. A little bit of sewing on some pages, some lace and that. And then the back pocket does have a silk um, pocket with a dragon on it. I don't know if you can see the dragon in there. Might be hard because of the light. And I will be putting sorry silk on this as well. Again, that has the back just like the front does. Uh, once I get the finished book with the images, uh, with the decoration on it, I will send another picture. Hope you like this. I just wanted to give a complete flip through. No. <laughs> and have a great day. Thank you.